found a fish! Hi, I'm Brad Knowles, producer of Friday Night Flies, hosted by Scott LeBoldis and Scotty Holmes. Enjoy the show. You're live, buddy. Take it away. Okay. No swearing. No swearing tonight. Don't say anything bad. Hi, <laughs> I'm Ben, formerly of Friday Night Flies. I just came into the store to look for some ammo. And Brad wants me to tie a fly now. I was like, fire. That's got right. Again. Fired. So, tonight we're going to tie a fly I call the Evening Standard. Um, it's one I use in the spring, summer, fall, really. Good for rainbows and bulls and I've even had sockeye get on them uh, changing it up because I bet the boys have been doing a bunch of these things salmon flies didn't you? yeah we did a salmon fly I bet you have that's right they're easy to tie and that's usually what I do <laughs> okay yeah sorry I don't want to take from your show but sorry about Brad there so the evening standard it represents a stone fly it can represent a cased caddis or rock roller it's almost like the woolly bugger of the river and it's my go-to if I'm not getting any bites so we're gonna start with our uh, hook so you want to go down on the camera sure camera number four yeah there it is we're on it all right we got our hook we got our bead just gonna throw some thread on there bear with me because I ain't tied in months I'm just gonna wrap that shank get a bit of a base for our lead it's about good I guess Back it's up. one thing to be tying at home when you're completely smashed, but you it's know, a lot more fun. It is. <laughs> you can swear and yeah. I'm just gonna take a bit of my lead there, like so. Might have a bit much, but it's good because it builds the body up, makes it look nice and fat. Anchor that on there quite well, and I'm just gonna start wrapping that hook. It's a lengthy material list on this guy, but don't worry. It'll be down underneath the fly, FridayNightFlies.com. Uh, you want these on the bottom. I've never had good luck nymphing in rivers with your fly midwater. You want it right down. So even with this lead, if you're in a fast current, put a bunch more lead, maybe a foot above your uh, a foot above your fly. Uh, with a strike indicator, I like using those. And uh, yeah, so you're fishing five feet of water, fast moving. You'd have this fly, and then uh, and then your lead, and then your strike indicator. And you'd put your strike indicator up pretty high. I'd like say double the depth of the water if it's moving that fast. So I've just taken a some silly legs here. I'm gonna. Take one piece that's twice as long as the shank of the hook, fold her in half, and get that anchored down onto there, like so. Looks nice and buggy. Then I'm going to take a bit of marabou and put that over top. Cinch that on there. You know what? No, Any I don't know. Though. I'm sure you're going to tell me, though. I'm going to tell you. Okay. I've been wanting this recipe for a very long time, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> now I got it. Yeah. Now I got now it. Now you got it. Scotty's been wanting it, too. <laughs> a few of us have been, we've been wanting it, for sure. All right. Hey, there's a reason they call you Birkenhead Benny. That's and right. It's, and it unfolds around this fly oh. right here. I just dropped my little piece of hackle here. So, important step. We're going to build from the back forward. So I got my piece of hackle here. And I'm just going to lace that in there. Like so. Get a good get a good cinch on that, uh, that tail end there. So there we go. We got a uh, thread, lead, silly legs, marabou, and then hackle. Now we're going to go for the root beer dubbing. Uh, you can tie them any color as well anything that kind of resembles what's in your local river um, I like tying black brown gold uh, but this is what I found in the box so you know what it, it changes with the season just like you're saying you kind of got to go out and do your homework 
Yeah, flip a few rocks over, see what's scooting around on the bottom. Yeah, so and it's pretty subtle. I mean, it, it changes within a couple days. One day it's black, the next day it's gold. I've I've even used green stonies out there too, and they work too. Yep. Oh, I almost made a schoolboy error. I almost forgot the scud back. Now you don't need it, so it'll look a bit more like a woolly bugger, but uh. I just like having it on there because it presents more like a stone fly and as you know Brad there's a good amount of stone flies in these rivers here so there we go I got that on just in time but you don't want it to forget that and there we're just gonna wrap up to that lead and, ah, good thing I brought my leatherman this is a little finessing thing here. Just flattening that lead wire out makes it have a nice wide back. If you look at stoneflies, they sit flat on those uh, on the bottom of those rocks when you turn them over. And they range in sizes too, so you could tie this guy down to like a probably a 12 or something like that. Yeah, but last year. Tie it all the way up to a 4. And it's different every river you're fishing too. Yeah, <laughs> tie up a bunch of different sizes and colors and mm -hmm. you'll never be short. So there, wrapped a little bit onto that lead. I'm going to grab some silly legs here. And I'm not going to be too concerned with length because we can always chop them down. But I'm going to wrap them just like that. With that dubbing on there like so. Grab another one. Snap that off. Oh, that's a lot of silly like. Wrap that one in there. Cinch on her. And don't worry too much about the presentation. We're not trying to tie a perfect looking stone fly here. You want it to be a bit messy. I've never seen a perfect looking bug. Yeah, Except yeah. for the praying mantis. That is that is a good bug. That's a good one. <laughs> We're gonna have to tie one of them one of these days. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So there we go. We got some legs on there. A bit more dubbing. Like I said, don't worry about your presentation on the legs too much. Just as long as they're out dangling around, the fish won't know. Fish are dumb. You got a big hole on the other side, though. <clears throat> Don't worry about that. I'm not worried about it. That's what I got the scud back for to cover up all the mistakes. Thank you for pointing them out. <laughs> it's magnified here under the. Uh, the oh, we're not getting away with the, like we did in the day there. Yeah, no, it's in HD now. Oh. Oh. Well, that's just great. Right, so. We got our legs dangling away. Maybe I'll take a little bit off of there. Oh yeah, we got them looking all stony. We got some legs. Now I'm going to take this hackle. This can be a bit of a pain. Uh, we probably got hackle pliers around here somewhere, but no, 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 Brad, I don't get you know up. What? I'm going to get up. Stretch but my legs. I don't need them. Ah, oh, let's grab them, sure. It'll make it easier. Yeah, I want to look pro here, too. Yeah. Oh, bump the camera again. I want to hold up to the stubble from shaking. It'll be awesome. There we go. Earthquake's over. Yeah, I'm not tying it down in the museum here tonight, right? So there we go. Hackle's on there. Just going to tie that off. Give a little snippy snip. Now here's the part I kind of like. So you're, you're almost tying a woolly bugger here, really, but watch this. I'm going to take my scissors and cut all that hackle off the back. I'm going to take that scud back and bring it over the front. Get that tied off a few times. It's in HD, eh? Full HD. This man. thing's gonna look rough. No, oh, it looks great. But it'll get them. 
You know, the I only know. downside is that I don't have my rotary vice here tonight, so we can't even show people unless unless you keep it like in your finger. I didn't drink over. that much last night. I think my hands are going to be pretty steady. <clears throat> Good. Yeah. And we'll just give it a little whip finish. Like so. Chop that. So maybe that tail's are looking a little long. You can doctor these up as much as you like. So we'll take a little bit off. That hackle's a little long. So we'll Lose a bit of that. You can make them as pretty or as ugly as you like. But, spending more time making it pretty doesn't necessarily mean it's going to catch more. So there we have the evening standard. A good go-to for any night fish in the river. It's a bit of a stone fly, it's a bit of a woolly bugger, it could be a rock roller. Man, it's a good mix. Like you said, it's kind of like that woolly bugger of the fishing world. Anyway. Yeah. I just like them. It's a good one for uh, clients to use as well because it's uh, heavy enough that you don't have to weight it and you have all these hinge points when you're nymphing with a strike indicator weights and a nymph. This one will just plop to the bottom. You can even fish that on a sinking tip and it'll, uh, it'll get them. So there you go. That's your uh, evening standard on Friday Night Flies. Perfect, let's go back up top, you can sign out. There it is, we're on both, we're on top and bottom, buddy. Good luck out there, Friday Night Flies.